Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Lead Accelerator within KW Command. Now, just to give you a little bit of insight on what Lead Accelerator is, this is actually a paid item within KW Command. It is a way to manage your Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Twitter ads, Google AdWords, and even send out real postcard mailers to your sphere. Now, this is meant to reach more than just actually the sphere of contacts that you may have within your database, but reach uh, customers that maybe have not come across your name or your site uh, quite yet. It's a way to reach a bigger audience. So let's get started on how to do that. And the first step you'll want to do is log into KW Command. If you're not familiar on how to do that, that is agent.kw.com. I'm going to see it. You'll see on the top of my screen here, agent.kw.com. And it will take you to the screen that I'm looking at on my, on my side here. And you'll want to put in your username and password. Now, this username and password is the same as your mykw.kw.com username and password. Okay, if you're not sure on what that is, you can always click Forgot Password on the bottom right here, or of course, you can email us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to help you figure that out. And we can put sign in here. Go ahead and click on that teal button to sign in right away. Now, the first thing that you'll have to do to utilize the Lead Accelerator is connect your social media accounts. So you have to connect that to your marketing profile, and we'll do that by clicking on your first and last name on the very top right, and you'll get this uh, drop down to appear, where we want to click settings from that drop down. Now, when we do that, again, we click on our first and last name on the top right, and then settings. When we do that, it will take you to all of your applications that you can connect to command. We'll actually want to scroll down. So if you'll scroll down past social, okay, so that's not actually this section. We want to go to marketing automation, okay, where you'll see your Facebook, and you'll see it says handle Facebook ad manager, Twitter ads, Google AdWords. Okay, so you can connect each one of these here. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and collect, connect the Facebook one just so you guys can see how this works. And I can do that by clicking Connect Account on the right-hand side, that teal button. All right, now on my computer, it is already connected. You know, I'm already logged into my Facebook account. So if you're on your laptop and you're already logged into Facebook, it will probably just connect it right away. Okay, and when it does connect it, it just moves it to the very top of the list. All right, so if you can't find that suddenly, scroll to the top of your list. It will show you that's connected, and it will show you which account it's connected to. Okay, so um, if you are not on your computer, it will just prompt you to put in your Facebook username and password so that you can connect that right away. Now, just a heads up, uh, for Google AdWords, you cannot use your KW email for Google Ads. All right, so I just want to make that you aware of that. Uh, so you would need to create a personal Gmail account to be able to set that up, or maybe you already have one, you can use that right away. All right, so that was step one. We did connect the Facebook account, if I would like to do Facebook Ads, for example. So now let's check out the Lead Accelerator. Now on the left hand side, you'll see a bunch of menu items going down your command account. All right, if you're not sure of what each icon does, you'll notice if you hover your mouse over those options, it does pop out, out a little black speech bubble letting you know what that is. Or you can click on the menu icon on the very top left, and it will make those permanently display. Okay, I personally like that until I can learn the icons, what each one means. So let's go on down to the lead accelerator option. So again, that's Lead Accelerator. It's about halfway down your list there. Now when you do that, it will take you over to that section of KW Command. This has your marketing campaigns. And just again, to overview that for you, these are paid campaigns okay, that are meant to reach more than just the sphere that you have in your database to reach possible new customers, new contacts that you have not met yet. 
All right, but in order to do that, so with that being said, since that is a paid item, you'll need to come to the payment profile on the very top of your screen here. Okay, and you don't necessarily have to do this right now if you're playing around with it. Okay, but just so you know, once you're ready to actually put out a Facebook ad campaign or Instagram ads and so forth, you will need to set up this payment profile here. So we'll let you know if you don't have a card on file yet, and you can just adjust that by clicking Add New on the top right to add your credit card in right away. Okay, so you add your credit card information, click Add Card, and that should complete that process for you. All right, so once you do that, we can come on back over to the My Marketing Campaigns, okay, that first option on the top of your screen. And that will show you any current campaigns you have going. You can search for a campaign as well if you have a couple going. All right, you'll notice on the top right here, we have the option to view all campaigns, only active campaigns, draft campaigns, so ones that are not currently active but you're working on, and then past campaigns as well. So you can toggle those options here as well, just a heads up. But of course, the main thing you'll want to do is click on that create, create New Campaign option, that teal button on the very top right. All right, so we're clicking Create New Campaign on the top right, and that will take you to do just that. So we can start at the top and work our way down. So for the marketing campaign name, for right now, I'll just na name this Test Campaign. Of course, you can name that whatever you would like. And you can select an ad channel. So whether you would like to do Facebook ads, okay, if you're not familiar with Facebook ads, if you have a Facebook account, you've definitely seen them. So these will be typically displaying on the right-hand side of your Facebook page. You might have noticed that if you Google something, um, such as, you know, a, a new piece of jewelry that you want to get or any product for that matter, you'll go on Facebook and then suddenly you see those Facebook ads on the right-hand side of your screen. Slightly creepy, okay, but that is what that is referring to, Facebook ads here. So you can put your promote yourself on the side of the Facebook page, okay, for a wider audience. And you can maybe drive traffic over to your website, for example. And you have Instagram ads as well. So once you're scrolling through Instagram, you may see some sponsored ads as you scroll on down. That is what you would be doing there. We have Twitter ads, Google AdWords. Okay, again, you can't use your KW email for Google AdWords, but that is how we can set that up here. We have real mailers, and so that is physical mail pieces such as postcards, for example. And you'll notice these two are grayed out, but it looks like LinkedIn ads and Nextdoor ads are to come. All right, so for right now, you can select whichever cam uh, channel you would like to utilize. Again, that would have to be connected to your command account where we started in this video. So, so since I connected Facebook, I can go ahead and select that. You'll then see your schedule, okay, so if we want 10 days from which date to what date, okay, so you can toggle that by clicking on this menu icon here to see when you want those to start posting out. You can control your budget here, $1 per day, so if you're doing 10 days, we have a $10 budget, $1 per day, okay, you can also set that as a default budget. And you have your marketing campaign goal. So are you trying to attract listings, advertise your listing, attract talent, brand awareness, event awareness, or even other? And you can click configure campaign on the bottom right here. All right. So that is how you would go ahead and launch your uh, lead accelerator, launch, launch a social media campaign for an ad. Now once you do that, let me show you how it looks. Scott's account here has one set up. So I just want to show you what the analytics will look at look like once that has been set to post out. So for example, you'll notice the dates. So once that is created in this create new campaign on the top right, all right, these are the analytics. So I'll show you the dates it was posted out, the channel here, okay, the status. So if that is active or complete, in this case it's draft. Total budget. Okay, let's hop on over to impressions here. So what impressions is, is that is the total amount of people that saw your ad. Okay, so maybe they saw that on the side of their Facebook page or they're scrolling down on their mobile app and it's on their news feed. Okay, so that's a total amount of people who saw your ad. So that's impressions here. 
we have clicks, so those are the amount of people who clicked on the ad, so maybe they were directed over to your website from the ad you posted out. All right, CPM, that is cost per milli, so that is cost per thousand people who saw it, so whatever number you have here, okay, that is divided the cost per thousand people that saw that ad. And then we have cost per click, all right, same concept, just uh, done by the amount of people who clicked on the ad. So that is uh, some further analytics for you. You can, of course, edit the, the campaign on the right-hand side, that little pencil icon, if you need to edit that campaign further, or you can trash it as well. Okay. So that is an overview on how you can utilize the Lead Accelerator tool within your KW command. If you have any questions on that, feel free to email us at support at Have a great rest of your day. Take care.